Breaking news viewers, I found somewhere to stay, but it is a risk, it's definitely a risky move. Watch till the end, I'll show you where it's located, we'll walk down to the promenade in the beach. Can you guess where we are? We're outside the wee prison cell, Pension Casablanca. If you've seen my previous videos there, I've had to resort to this viewers, because the price of accommodation tonight is outrageous. Um, but there is some good news. Single room is fully booked, so I had to upgrade to a wee double. So I've got a wee balcony, en suite and a sea view for £44. It's not too bad viewers, is it? As a hostel, the rooms are very, very basic. But look at the location, look at my view here. Pity the sun's not out. <laughs> the weather's still dodgy. Let's get down to the promenade, we'll see if the sun goes out. I'll show you where it's located if you've missed my previous videos. I've just came from Golf to Sir. Got the bus there. Traffic's terrible coming out there. I remember Rick from Rick and Shirley's channel always mentioned the traffic's bad coming out of Golf to Sir. The bus took like 50 minutes. Um, so it was, the, the bus was absolutely jam packed. You don't need masks anymore for the bus, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. Um, but locals are getting on the transport now free of charge, so the buses are very, very busy. You might struggle to get a wee seat in some of them. Let's cross over. Some nice wee restaurants down here. Oh, sorry. So, done some videos on Golf to Sir. I hope you enjoyed the one in Sand Blast with Rick and Shelley. Check out their channel. And um, done a few other ones with Rick and Golf to Sir. You'll see that as well. It was good because Rick was showing me about, showing me all the hidden gems that I wouldn't have found, maybe. So, you'll see them in the channel soon. And then last night, I met Mark and Judy from the Gypsy Souls channel. Hopefully, you'll see a wee video maybe on Wednesday. Maybe meet up with the guys, do a wee video. They're nearly at 10,000 subscribers, so give them a wee subscribe. It's absolutely free. I've never mentioned that, I know, but it's free. Look at that, I see bikinis up there. That's just a random sign, bikinis. So we're in the side streets now of Los Cristianos, my favourite resort by far in Tenerife. Up there at the top, we've got the Church Square, a couple of well-known bars and restaurants, tapas bars around there as well. Check this out, where's the cork shop, everything in here, made from cork. How cool is that? Been here for a long time this shop, must do well. Random jewellers, we'll take a wee walk down to the left. You can walk straight up this way and it'll take you down towards San Telmo, you know, at the back of Los Cristianos, Las Vistas, on the way to Las Americas. This place is very popular here, let me know in the comments, anybody been in it? Specialising in seafood, obviously. Let's take a wee wander down here, we'll see where we end up, yours. So if you've seen my videos in, in the other hostel, I stayed in the pension player is down here. You could argue a better location, neither the promenade than the beach. The pension player is a higher standard. The rooms are nicer and the bathroom's nicer. Um, but it's just fully booked, I couldn't get in. Random barbers there. Pension player is just down there. You see a sign for it up the wall. So it's very close to, to the one I'm in, to be honest with you. Uh, random wee commercial centre in here. There's a restaurant there. I've seen people eating there the other night. I've never been in here. I don't think there's much going on in there, so I'm not going to go in. I had quite a nice Indians last night in um, Golf to Sur. I can't remember the name of it. Is it called? Um, that bought them later on. Rico's is very popular. Bought them later on. I think it was called Bombay something. Uh, with Mark and Judy. It was quite nice. And then we had a beer in an Italian restaurant, I think. I can't remember the name of it. And then we went next door, just up the road at the top, top square bit. Uh, was it Bar Fresh we went to? That one, they've got one in um, a decade as well. You've just seen the video when I done it with Rick and Shelley, I showed you. We started off there. So that's where we ended up for a few drinks. So it's quite busy at this time. This is getting filmed. Um, Mid afternoon, I don't, I've not checked the time. It's maybe about three o'clock, maybe. Got oh, music starting. So that just takes us up to Church Square. Let's do a wee walk. We'll go down to the promenade. You always like to see the sea and the beach, don't you? It's quite busy, Los Cristianos. Some of the bars at night are kind of hit and miss, not that busy. But during the day, very, very busy. The promenade's pretty busy. It's, um, it's just a nice spot here, isn't it? You fancy a wee coffee. 
So you can already see how busy it is down here. So location wise, can I complain about the hostel? No I can't. No way I can. £44. Double room, en suite. Oh, there's somebody shouting me there. <laughs> How you doing, alright? How are you doing, aye? Uh, Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. you. Alright, aye, not bad. Aye, where, where are you guys from? Cumberland Old, mate. Cumberland Old, okay. What's it called? Cumberland Old. That's that. You're good to hear Aye, thanks for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. I, I, I was thinking, did I imagine somebody shouting Kevin there? No, uh, Is that you shouting that, aye? Aye. He's all together, yes? Aye, aye. Just first day, just going here a couple of First day? You enjoying it? Aye. Can I, can I complain, eh? Exactly, that's, that, that's it. You staying in Los Christianos? Up at the Hollywood Mirage, up at Top of the Hills. Oh, it's nice up there. The complex is really nice. Aye, aye. It's, it's a bit of a walk up there, but isn't it? Aye, aye. Eh? Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's a lovely complex. What was your name? Kenny. Kenny, okay. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. You too. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. You too. Enjoy the rest of your holidays, guys. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you about, okay? Definitely. Cheers, mate. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. What are you surprised, eh? I didn't think somebody shouted Kevin there, did I imagine that? Kenny and the rest of your family there, lovely to meet you, hope you have a great holiday. We're staying at the Hollywood Mirage. The Hollywood Mirage um, is a really nice complex, my friend stayed there the last time, you've seen a video done up there. Uh, standard of accommodation in there is higher than most of the other cell catering ones I've been in, but it is at the top of Cardiac Hill, so when I was saying to Kenny there, it's a fair walk back up there. A lot of people walk down here and get a taxi back up. It's past the El Mirador strip, if you've seen my videos at Dillon's, Taylor's and all, all the places, just past there and up the hill to the side. It's a nice vibe down here, eh? If you're wondering what the weather's like, it's much the same as it's been every day, it's hit and miss. Um, I've actually got a fleece tied around my waist just now because I know when it comes later on about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, it'll get quite cold. So I've got a fleece um, around my waist just now because I'm, I'm heading, hopefully, on the bus to either play a Parizo or Carlos Savaki. I'm going to go and see Tim from Living With MS Vlog. Check it out on YouTube. Give me a wee subscribe. So that's the plans. Wait to show you, I'm going to go in a wee minute, viewers, because I'm going to be in a bit of a hurry here by the time I get videos done. So I need some quick food. The best located fast food place in Tenerife. Oh, hiya. How are you doing, alright? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what's your name? Gwen. Gwen? Okay, yes. Gwen. Lovely to meet you. Oh, Thanks a lot. Thank See you, you later, Gwen. Bye. bye bye. So nice to meet so many viewers. I was in these bars all night, Fountain Bar. The bar just ahead of it, play some really good music at the bar just at the top of the steps here. It's really nice. Um, I'm trying to remember where I'm going here, I'm going down here. Still quite a lot of people on the beach, despite the weather being a bit cloudy. It's about 22 degrees, I think, maybe. Could be 23, possibly. I still got the cap on just in case, but I was contemplating even taking that off, but that's always a risk. Getting your head burnt, you don't have much hair. So I thought I better just keep it on, but it's still beautiful to be here, isn't it? I mean, look at the weather. Right, let's go and see if this wee place is open. So if you're new to the channel, first time ever watching the videos, thanks so much for selecting it on YouTube, really appreciate it. Um, my name's Kevin, I do lots of walks in Tenerife and other places, and I'll just show you um, places that might interest you if you're coming on holiday. I'll try and give you some information. So if you're on a budget, this video is going to be suitable for you. Check out my other um, <coughs> videos that I've done showing you some four-star hotels that I've stayed in. They might maybe be more suited to you if you're coming on holiday. So I'll try and do a good mix on the channel. This holiday, um, I've been really struggling to find affordable accommodation, so I have been staying in cheap hostels, because I'm just not going to pay £150 a night for like, the salt or owner up the road, which is not worth the money. This bar's nice, eh? They're all up inside, I see. It. A few people in there. Oh, I don't believe this. Wait till you see this, viewers. It's a disaster. Yeah, hold on, viewers. Hold on. It's, it's 
match did not end well. Now, do you know what I'm looking for here? Nice restaurant there. Alan, you're in there quite a lot. I'll show you in a wee minute, but things have changed there. Um, I cannot believe this, viewers. What used to be here? The best located subway in the world. Your chairs would come out here, you could just sit with a wee subway and you could look out onto the sea and the beach. It looks as if it's shut down. Let's see, I've got some information here. Right, so they've still got one in Las Americas in a decade, but the one in Lost Chris is shut down, which is a real shame. I quite like a wee subway, a wee chicken, uh, six inch, lettuce, onions, lovely. But plenty of good restaurants in Lost Chris, you don't need to worry about that. Let's see if uh, La Tapa is open. This is a nice place. Um, Uncle Jack and Peter always go in it. I've showed it before on the channel, I'll quickly show you it. That's a great place for ice cream. Daniel from Tenerife First Excursions recommended that one. So, La Tapa, I don't think it's open either. Let's see. No, it's not open either. One next door's open, but maybe both later on. Some really bad news there, viewers. That did not end well. I was so looking forward to having a wee subway and sitting looking out the promenade in the beach. Oh, what a shame. Let's walk around a wee bit further. I'm going to be walking up probably to the bus station, which is about a 15 minute walk up the hill from here. If I remember, I'll do a video showing you how to get to the bus station from here, in case you've missed previous ones that I've done, if you're maybe going out for the day. I met quite a few people at the bus stop in Golf Del Sur that were going out uh, to El Medino and they were going different places. So it's a good way to get about the bus, but they are very, very busy, the buses just now. If you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour, hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything. Hit the bell for notifications if you want up, updated when I upload a new video. When I'm in Tenerife, I will upload three videos per day. I will also sometimes do live videos that always are a complete disaster. If you've seen my video the other day, I apologise, that did not go well. Um, I basically had the camera in vertical angle and I couldn't work out how to change it. I'll try and sort it for the next time, but there's no guarantees. We'll wait and see viewers. Going back the way, that's towards Las Americas. I'll be in Las Americas and Costa Adeke in the next few days. No accommodation booked yet for the rest of the week. I'm waiting on a bargain coming up. I did see a couple of potential ones, but we'll wait and see viewers. They're staying in different places or do I just um, switch it up a wee bit and maybe stay one night here and one night there. I was planning to go to Porto de la Cruz for one night, because I like it up there, but uh, I'm way behind in scheduling videos, I'm doing a lot less videos than I normally do for just a number of reasons, um, so I need to catch up and get as many videos as I can done. So a couple of ways you can go up to the bus station, I'm going to walk right along the promenade here, probably take an RV video, and then I'm going to take a left and go up the hill. But I can also go up past the church square, which I'll probably do actually. You can see how busy it is down there at the corner cafe, really busy. Just take a wee wander down a side street, will we? Nice wee vibe down there, somebody's playing a guitar. Maybe wee balconies here, they're cool aren't they? So I, I get asked this question all the time. Um, what's my favourite resort? It's always Los Castellanos. You, you don't have bits like this in Las Americas and Costa Adeque. It's just, in my opinion, just a good mix. Your restaurants are busy here. Now, if you need a handbag, there is your shop there. Food smells amazing. I wish you could smell it. Napoli restaurant. Down there, the guys got a couple of beers there, look nice, look nice. So this is taking me back up quite close to where the hostel is. Wee bookshop there, if you need a wee book for the the beach. So I need to find somebody else um, to go and eat now, that's the that's the bad news. 
but there is a couple of places up here that I know quite well. There's a tapas place at the church, it's quite nice. Cafe 5 Bar Lounge, end of it in there. It's one I've not been in, looks lovely inside. It's always quite busy, around, the, around this wee bit here at the side. Mural on the wall. So that's us up to Church Square and Bar Gavita on the right hand side. My hostel is just behind the church and to the left and up the hill. It's quite steep to climb if you come up this way. You're better going down or up the steps that I came from. Bar Gavita wasn't open yesterday, it's open today. Good to see, lots of people sitting out enjoying it. It's a lovely wee spot here at the church square, I like it here. And here's the wee tapas restaurant I was mentioning. If you like tapas, there's another option. Just round the corner, I've done a video showing you. The Hideaway Bar, do good tapas as well. There's the church. And this place in here does tapas. And it's nice, I've been in it before, I'd recommend it. There's a the menu there. So, the side that we're going to have there, viewers. So, probably going to stop there for a wee bit of tapas, El Bogado, flamenco show on Saturday nights, steaks, more bars and restaurants down there. I've done lots of videos showing them. So, that's us in Church Square. Viewers, what a disappointment. It did not end well, and it's risky staying in that hostel. So I've took a risk and it did not end well. That'll be the title of this video, for sure. Um, I'll let you know what the hostel's like. The rooms are roasting in that hostel, so I'm hoping it's bearable tonight. I don't know, we'll wait and see. Um, at least I can open the patio doors, because in the single rooms you don't have that option, you've just got a wee tiny window. So I can literally open the patio doors if it gets really bad. We'll wait and see, viewers. I'll let you know how I got on. I'm away for a tapas, and I'll see you later. I don't know where it'll be yet. Possibly play at Parizo or Kalasavaki if I make it in time and um, you might see a video there soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.